Interesting day today, folks. I think David Moyes is going to go strong, as I mentioned in yesterday's video. But what re the really interesting sort of like twist to today is that we could finish above Chelsea. And that's, that would be brilliant. It, it really, really would. I'd love it. I think it requires, look, they've got to lose. We've got to win and a three-goal swing, something like that. But it is not insurmountable. They are playing Newcastle. We're playing Leicester. There is a three-goal swing in there if West Ham take it seriously and if Newcastle take it seriously. I think both will, to be fair. I think Newcastle will probably want to finish on a high. I think David Moyes certainly will, and I think David Moyes might be, we'll talk about that a little bit more in a second, might be fine-tuning his team for the final, quite possibly. Every season, we get comments. We play Tottenham, we play Chelsea, you get comments. Maybe in the previews, something like that, or in the build-up to the game. There'll be a Chelsea fan or a Tottenham fan or two, and they'll say, they'll type it out. They probably don't type it out like that. They're probably using their phone. Say, enjoy your cup final, lads. Enjoy your cup final. And the insinuation's clear. It's an insult, and the insult's quite clear, really, which is, basically, you're a crap club. You're, you're a small club. You don't have a proper cup final. So because you don't have a proper cup final, this fixture's the main thing of the season for you. Basically, West Ham are crap, so playing Tottenham or playing Chelsea is the be-all and end-all. We're bigger than you, we're better than you, you don't have any cup finals. That, that's it. That's it. That's the, the insult is in a nutshell of enjoy your cup final, lads. And I guess there's an element of truth in it. You know, I, I think uh, that'd be fair. But what I've, what I've got to say is I've had a chance to have a think about it this season. Now, whilst we're not playing Chelsea, of course, we do have a chance to finish above them. And what I now know, what it feels like, we've all read because we do have a cup final. Because you know what? Actually, finishing above Chelsea won't be our cup final. No, not at all. So even though we've got the comfort blanket of a cup final, I'm thinking about it, finishing above Chelsea would feel pretty good. I've got to say, I, I, would, I would really quite like that. What's David Moyes going to do? Um, I think he is going to go strong on it. I really do. I, I, I've been trying to, trying to really filter through what's been going on with David Moyes. I mentioned yesterday's video. I don't know. And I think I'm just going to leave it until after the, uh, after the final. Uh, so, yeah, I think we're another week of avoiding the subject, really, because I just don't know what's going to happen. It's so hard to tell. And I do, despite what some of the reports are saying, I do think the result of the final is surely going to have an impact on David Moyes' um, future. However, I do think he'll want to finish the league strongly. He's mentioned it uh, he, in his interviews during the week. He mentioned that David Sullivan constantly reminds him that, that his league position is all important. And that's all about each place. I think each place is worth an extra couple of million quid, something like that. Might have the small change wrong, but roughly that's what it is. <laughs> but then a couple of million quid, hey, look, it's easy to say it ain't my money, is it? I'd love a couple of million quid, but it's football money and you sort of deal with it differently. I would like to finish above Chelsea, irrespective of, of the extra couple of million quid and it would I think from David Moyes I think it would put a different slant on the league table if we could get up there and we could finish whatever 12th or something like that whatever it might be 13th 12th wherever it might be I think if you looked at the league table at the end of the season and then we'd also had a final I think you'd look and think hold on final mid-table finish hey pretty good season look it doesn't tell the whole story, but I don't think it looks bad in the history books. I think if you win the final, it looks absolutely sensational, really. Let's be fair, particularly qualifying for Europe next season. So, I, I, But I don't just think it's that. I do think it's an opportunity for David Moyes to fine-tune his team for the final. And it is, a, it is a difficult one. It, it really is. Because I think there's a tendency to wrap everybody in cotton wool. Or a te not a tendency, a temptation to wrap everybody in cotton wool. Don't want Declan Rice getting injured. Don't want Lucas Paqueta getting injured. And so on and so forth. I don't think he'll do that with everyone. I think the interesting one here is Willie play Kurt Zuma. That is interesting. Because I think he is a player that probably needs to be wrapped in cotton wool. I mean, you'd look very, very silly if you played Declan Rice and he got injured. But I think I'd still look at it and I'd look at Zuma and look at Antonio. I think, oh, is, is it worth risking them? I don't know. But look, Leicester are, Leicester are there to be, to be got at. Absolutely they are. And I do wonder what would happen with Leicester because it's one of those, one of those days, isn't it, when all the fixtures kick up at the same time and 
It's one of those times when the stadium, people are listening to the radio and, you know, got their earpieces in. I guess you don't need it anymore on mobile phones, don't you? I've gone a bit, gone a bit retro there, haven't I? Basically, people know the scores of the other games. And if you get a situation where, you know, Everton are up against Bournemouth or something like that, that news filters down, doesn't it? It sort of gets there and the news gets onto the bench and... The game st- stops and starts so much now. They always seem to be having a drinks break and everything else. And, uh, you know, it, the game stops for whatever reason. And I just imagine that that news filters out onto the pitch. And I think at that point, it's going to then be really, really difficult for Leicester because they know it actually doesn't matter what they do. Um, that being said, look, it ain't over till it's over, right? You never know, even when there's two fixtures going on at the same time. And if you you know knew what happened uh, yesterday in, in the Bundesliga with Dortmund and Bayern Munich, who weren't playing each other separate games, you, you just don't know what's going to happen. That being said, Leicester aren't down there by accident. Leicester are down there because they've been crap this season. David Moyes will know that. David Moyes will want the points. And David Moyes will absolutely want to fine-tune his team. I'm not sure how much... <laughs> Whilst the fans, well, you know, uh, uh, well, certainly a number of us would be thinking, oh, let's finish above Chelsea. I'm not sure that's going to be David Moyes' um, mindset, but it doesn't really matter how you get there. You know, that might be our motivation for it, but even if he's just motivated to get the points to finish up the league, motivated to get his players playing in that sort of cohesive formation and whatever, nailing down whatever tactics he wants to get to play against Fiorentina. I don't know. He'll have had a look at Fiorentina now. Of course, they, you know, they played um, this weekend. Uh, they lost, didn't they, in the um, in the Coppa Italia uh, in the final there as well. Even if he didn't know about Fiorentina, he'd have certainly had an eye on them, probably from the quarterfinal stage or whatever. I'd imagine they had him scouted extensively. And he's probably, even if he hasn't gone there and, and been to the games, he would have definitely watched their most recent games. Their last three games, David Moyes has watched them. There's no doubt about that at all. So if he's watched them and he's tactically having a look at what they're doing, then he's probably... I know it's easy to look at David Moyes, but he doesn't really change his tactics very much. But that's not what a player say. It's not what Stuart Pearce has said. They, they've all said he's very detailed in his analysis of the opposition and they sit down in the video room and, and they go through it all. So... I just wonder, with all that information in mind and such a big game, I do think the Leicester game's a dress rehearsal. Not enough, as we've spoken... Look, David Moyes has got his favourite player, so it's not enough, as we've spoken of before, for players to think, oh, if I play well against Leicester, I can force my way into the team. That that sort of doesn't happen. I think we can all probably name the team that he's going to play in a final. But I think he's going to take it seriously. I think he's going to go strong. I, I just don't think you're going to see... Cornet on the wing and Mubama up, you know, up top and all the rest of it. I just don't think you're going to see that stuff. Flynn Downs playing in the midfield. No, I, I think, you know, I think you'll see the players there. I think you'll see Suchek and Rice in midfield. I think you'll see Paqueta playing. I really do. I, I think it's going to be interesting to see what he does. We, it's going to tell us, actually, isn't it? If he does go strong, the game against Leicester is going to tell us who he's playing at right back, which is going to be a really interesting one, given the um, well, given how well Kara played uh, in a running while Soufal's been out. But then, you know, Soufal's obviously been, the last six months, I think, has been in sensational form. And the finals in Prague, which gives it an extra twist, extra dynamic. Anyway, going to be really, really interesting. Uh, match join myself and Gio an hour and five minutes before kickoff over on the main channel. And we'll be seeing if it's, um, it's not even our cup final. We're not playing Chelsea, but I've got to say, be really good to finish above them. <laughs>